Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and something tells me it's time for another two-minute tech tip. Today's tipster is Joel Kalman. Joel is a director of software development for Oracle with a focus on Oracle Apex. Hey, Joel, what's up? What are you going to be talking about in your tech tip? Hey, Bob. Uh, today we're going to talk about using the declarative features of Apex. All right. If you are ready, your two minutes starts now. This tip applies to all versions of HMLDB 1.5 all the way up to the forthcoming release Apex 5.0. People should use the declarative features of Apex. What does that mean? Apex, at the end of the day, it's a model, and you tweak these knobs to build your application. You, you define the model uh, of your application. I want a page, I want a region, I want a report. You should capitalize on this because it's faster, not only from an execution time, uh, but you can report on your applications by querying the Application Express views. What's an example of not using the model? I've come across customer applications where there are pages and pages of JavaScript when it could have been elegantly handled via a dynamic action. Another example. There's even someone on our team, when they like to prototype Apex applications, they won't use uh, a reporting region or a tabular form or a calendar. They'll write custom handcrafted PL SQL blocks in page regions. And that's difficult to manage, and it's not very efficient from an execution standpoint. So when you go, need to go beyond the bounds of this declarative model of Apex, then you start writing code. And you can do that with SQL and PL SQL, which is the rich programming language of the database. In all places where possible, when you're using PL SQL, it should be seconds. compiled PL SQL that you invoke from Apex. It's faster at runtime. It's less pressure on the database. You don't have to parse huge chunks of PL SQL. You can maintain the source in a source code control system. Uh, and it's easier to promote patches across environments. So two rules of thumb I have. Ten One seconds. is when you're editing code and you see a scroll bar, that's time to define it in PL SQL that you define in the database statically compiled. The second is when you write the same PL SQL for the second time in the application, it should be defined once, stored in the database, and referenced. Great tip, Joel. Let's do this again sometime. I look forward to it, Bob. Thank you.